Okay, hi everybody. Welcome to the dungeon. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> I think I'll just keep it to one welcome. Welcome to the dungeon. Today we're going to talk about hearts because why not? I don't celebrate Valentine's Day um, because I feel like every day is Valentine's Day and that's that. And there's two different ways that we could approach this bead. It is either going to be um, on the vertical or on the horizontal. I prefer the vertical because when I finish my beads, they're made as a pendant like this with a little, little thing right there that you can hang them on any necklace that you want. I'd rather show you the, the one that I know better, okay? <laughs> Some of these little tricks uh, might help you out with your own heart. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Good luck, be safe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. The Crimson King and the Dark Tower. One. I know it's simple, but the road there and it the is. tail have both been lonely. Okay, we need to make some parts to this heart before we begin. So let's make a few stringers. And I'll just make my white and black. Oops, got that just in time. But it made it. And our, our black. Now you see that cane right there and that twisty cane? I wanna make another one of those. Um, because that one didn't come out exactly the way I wanted it to. So in order to make that cane, I have my clear and I roll it out just a little bit on the marver table and I'll add a couple of stripes of white just on one side right on top of each other. Not too much. And then I will proceed to butt that up with clear once I get it off the uh, main mandrel. But I'll add clear on both sides. As you can see, my cane broke and I was able to lift it up to the other side. So this whole thing is like a complete mess. But really um, what you're trying to do is just have white, a strip of white on one side. You definitely want to cover it over, but then when you begin to start pulling it out, because it's on the side, it'll give you a better swirl. And before I do that, I really need to clean up the bottom of this because it just looks horrendous. Anytime you're gonna pull cane out, you really need to use, you know, you really need to shape it up and have a nice, um, kind of a football shape is what I go for. And then I can go ahead and heat up the center and then let it cool down. And I start to do my twist. This part right here is in real time. So while I was heating it, I was not twisting or pulling. I was just heating. And then I come out and that's when I'll do my twist and pull. And as I feel the tension get stiffer, I'll pull harder and faster. And when I'm done, I'll take the edge off. And this cane really came out nice, you guys. It was, uh, it was really good, check it out. Just white on the side. So that'll be our trim to our Valentine. All right, time to make the heart. I'm just using a, not a red red, but I like orange red, or maybe it's called reddish orange, orangish red, reddish orange. Either way, it's my favorite red, and that's the red I'm going to use today. So I'm just getting my size, or my length of how long I want um, the center of the heart to be and then I'm going to heat one side and taper it 
and that's going to be the bottom of my heart. I want to keep that taper nice and tight right there. So when I build the bead up, I'm only building up where I want the glass to be thicker and thicker. And really what I'm trying to do is make like a triangular form when it's flattened. So that's kind of the shape I'm mimicking is a triangular form here. And then I'll heat both sides. I always heat both sides when I do this because I don't want any bubbles to get trapped with my um, the technique I use. And here what we need to do at this point is follow that very bottom edge that we made in the first place and give it a nice rolling taper. And then of course, if we need to, we can very, very gently roll it on that little area there to straighten out the bottom. I'll do the same thing on the top, trying really hard not to get any of the bead release touching um, the edge. And here we go, pressing it down. I press it down gently, just a little at a time, turn it over, and then I'll heat and press again. And this is a nice trick right here. I love to have a Marver pad. That's like super important. Now all I'm gonna do uh, to finish the heart is to add the top part, which are just two really large, you know, balls of glass. <laughs> Duh! And then what I'll do is use gravity to help shape everything else. I'll, I'll use gravity to round it out I'll add more glass if I need to, if I feel like I need a little bit more width at the top. If I um, like to, I could also pull down that center point with a pick to make that, I don't know what you would call it. <laughs> this is kind of weird, but like the crotch of the heart. <laughs> uh, you know, you could pull that down a little bit and make it look a little fancier. So yeah, there's our heart. So when I decorate this Valentine heart, I'm gonna start with a small heart in the middle and I'm just gonna use a small stringer and I'll add a dot and I'll pull down slightly, bring it right back over to the torch to break away. And then I'll do that just on the opposite side and pull into that same area, pull it away. And then I'll pull that little <laughs> part down in the heart. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side with the black. Now, I usually don't work with black and red because when they're hot, they both look black. So it's difficult for me to see the difference when they really start, you know, unless you heat it up, then you can see a difference. But when things start cooling down and you don't want the color to be so hot anymore, it's definitely hard to tell which is which. All right, now let's go ahead and just make a, a heart that surrounds that heart out of our cane. I'll have to fix that in a second here. This is a better shot, just right on the edge. And I'm laying this cane down. I'm not like swiping it on. All right, now let's fix this little area here. I'm heating it before anything cools down so I can use that edge to fill out that heart. Okay, let's do the same thing on the other side. And we start out like last time, just get the tip of your glass um, stringer hot and just draw it right through the flame. That was a really nice, nice one there. 
And I'm still gonna use my knife before it melts too much to shape it. Then we'll add the other side. You know, my cane is just barely in the flame. As soon as my cane starts to move, I keep it in that one spot and I'm actually moving the bead. All right, things are looking good. Let's use our special cane. Let's do this on the side. Same way, just heating the cane. And obviously you wanna make sure that your base bead is hot enough to accept that cane. And then I'm just going to swipe it right off of the end there. And then I'm gonna shape this side up and then put the other side on. And as I was doing this, I thought we needed a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and add another row here. Why not? So I'm just gonna add this right to the top, not too close to the mandrel, but as close as I can get. And I just very gently heat up the cane because I'm laying the cane down. If you are not laying the cane down, then your pattern will not come out perfect. All right, that looks good. Let's start shaping this up. Let's get these top edges pushed in using my X-Acto knife there. And of course, that top marver plate is so helpful, especially when it comes to shaping. And now, of course, it wouldn't be uh, one of my beads without dots, dots, and more dots. <laughs> so I'm going to let you guys watch the end of this. And we'll see you next time on another episode. Happy Valentine's Day!